Hello and welcome to week three. We're uh, more than halfway through your experience uh, of online learning with Greek drama. And uh, today, uh, more of a shorter lecture, I want to talk about uh, a little bit more about Oedipus Rex and more importantly about the, the theme of Oedipus Rex. So hopefully some of you got to the idea of the theme. It wasn't part of your homework assignment to look at theme, but I want to talk a little bit about the theme of, of the play today. First of all, I want to talk about one of my favorite stories to tell in my classes, the story of Tiresias, uh, who you're probably familiar with in the play, having read it now. Tiresias, of course, is the blind seer who warns Oedipus and tells him about what's happening, and of course Oedipus doesn't believe him. So uh, here's the backstory of Tiresias and how he came to be uh, what we call the blind seer, all right, uh, the prophet. When Tiresias was a young man, he was wandering along uh, the woods, uh, just kind of thinking and exploring and yeah, doing what young men tend to do, you know, wander off and kind of uh, be with their own thoughts and their own, uh, you know, thinkings and so on. And uh, as he was walking, he saw uh, a naked woman bathing in a pool. And of course, like a young man would be, he was very curious about this. And he stopped to essentially gawk at this beautiful young woman who was bathing. Well, it turned out that that young woman was Athena, um, you know, one of the great Greek gods who decided to come down from Mount Olympus for the day and take a bath. Well, Athena saw, essentially, Tiresias gawking at her. And she walked over and reached up and ripped out Tiresias' eyeballs threw him on the ground, stomped on him a little bit, and said, that'll teach you, young man, to not look at women as they're bathing. And she zoomed back up to Mount Olympus and left poor Tiresias to try to wander his way, now blind, out of the woods and back home. Well, that night, uh, Athena was talking to the other Greek gods and telling this story, and they all looked at her quite horrified. And finally, Zeus said, you know, Athena, I I think you might have overreacted a little bit. I mean, yeah, he probably shouldn't have been staring at you, but at the same time, you're a beautiful woman. You were the one bathing there. He was just being a kid. I mean, you could have just kind of scolded him and sent him on his way. He didn't have to rip out his eyeballs. And she thought about that for a little while and said, yeah, you're probably right. Maybe I was uh, a little too harsh. So Athena the next day raced back down to Earth, found Tiresias still stumbling through the woods trying to find his way back, and said, Listen, Tresis, I want to make it up to you. I feel really bad about ripping your eyeballs out. But unfortunately, I can't put your eyeballs back in. Somebody stomped on them on the ground and got them all dirty. They're no longer of any use. But here's what I can do. I can give you the ability to see the future, to be a prophet, to see things that other people can't see. And then you can be a great help to your, your people and your community by telling them and warning them about the things that might happen. Well, Tiresias looked at her and said, well, you know, I'd really like to be able to see, but I guess if this is the best you can do, I'll take it. So she goes, boom, zap, okay, there you go, you can see the future, sends him back to his house, and she zooms back up to Mount Olympus. Well, that night, she uh, is talking with Zeus and the other gods, and they say, well, what did you do to make, make it up to poor Tiresias? She explains the story, and they look at her again, horrified, and she says, well, what, what did I do? And Zeus pulls her aside and says, you gave him too much power. Even I don't have the power to see the future, and I'm Zeus. You gotta, you gotta take that away from Tiresias. It's too much. And Athena uh, zooms back down to Earth the next day and says, Tiresias, I got some bad news. And of course, poor Tiresias, uh, Tiresias at this point is thinking, oh man, what's gonna happen next? Well, she tells him, I can't keep you, keep you with this power. It's too much. So he wonders, of course, what she's going to do. And she says, well, I can't take away the, your power to see the future. I've granted it to you. I can't remove that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curse you. And the curse is that any time a person of power is warned by you of something important, they won't believe you. You are doomed to never be believed. And of course, that's exactly what happens in Oedipus Rex. As you know, Tiresias warns the king and tells him about this horrible stuff, and yet Oedipus does not believe him. So that's the story of Tiresias. Uh, theme of Oedipus Rex, I think, can sometimes, um, you know, be lost in the dramatic aspects of it and the true tragedy. But that is that 
you know, we must put all our trust in the gods and not fight their decisions. You know, we see in the play Oedipus and his parents, everyone refuses to go along with the oracles saying that he is going to kill his father and marry his mother. They try to fight it. They first try to kill off Oedipus. And then Oedipus himself tries to abandon his parents, adopted parents, but he thought they were his birth parents, to try to avoid this horrible, horrible, um, you know, destiny that awaits him. They do everything to stop that. And of course, by the end of the play, and you'll see this in what the chorus says near the end, um, you realize that only if you put your faith in fate, and if you put your faith in God, or the gods at that, at that point in time, then maybe they will smile down upon you and help you, and you won't have to end up with those horrible things happening. But the more you fight it, the more it is just inevitable that you will live up to those horrible things. And so that is really, um, you know, there's other minor themes or motifs that happen in the play, but that's kind of the big one that I hope, hope you got, and I hope that you get uh, in this week's homework assignment, uh, and which is to watch uh, a film version, it's a TV version from the mid-80s, I remember watching it when I was in high school, uh, of Oedipus Rex. So a little bit of a more modern telling, but still using all of those old uh, Greek qualities of the chorus and the stage and all that with just, you know, more 80s hairstyles and uh, 80s clothing. So watch that film. And then I'd like you to write a two-paragraph review of the film and email that to me. Of course, all this information is on, uh, on the web page right below you as well, so you can read that as well. And then um, starting to think about your major dramatic irony assignment. Please look over that script writing assignment, read through it, and email me your idea for your sketch. Okay? That way I can approve it and I'll let you know uh, by the end of the weekend if I approve your script or not, or your script idea or not, and then next week we can start working on the actual script. Okay, so please email me that, and again, if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.